Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Let's talk about the use exam preparation. First, I will answer the question about use exam from some of you guys. Use exam is uh, international student admission exam for the Turkish University. So it is only for the bachelor student and the graduate students. Uh, if you're a master or PhD student, you don't need to take this exam. You can take say, another exam called GRE or GMAT. So I talked about that in a previous video. So this US exam is for bachelor student for every department. And the minimum requirement for the US exam for each department also different. So you should check out the university uh, webpage uh, for your uh, respective department. So how does US exam and GRE exam affect in the Bursari scholarship? You have to know that US exam and GRE exam they are university entrance exam. So it help you to get your you know target university like very good university or like very high score departments if you have a minimum requirement for this department in that university you can get secure admission in that university so the first step of Bursari scholarship they will check your academic background like your score in the high school and other like activity other your letter and then also they will check all of them after that also they will like select based on all of these and after that they will call you for the interview until this time they will not like too much take into consideration of yours exam or GRE exam or IELTS. These are the requirement for the university, not the requirement for the Busari. After you pass the interview, if the Busari like you, the GRE, yours, IELTS, it will be considered next step for university admission. They will apply for you for all your preference university. So if you don't have a GRE, TOEFL, IELTS, yours, it's not like you will not get a scholarship. You can get a scholarship even you don't have all of these. But we are not sure about the university admission. During the application, if you choose the university that does not require your GRE, uh, IELTS, so for sure, why not? Yeah, you can just use your uh, bachelor degree or you can just use high school diploma. You can get accepted into this university. So. This taking use exam is like the advantage of getting into a good public university. You know, very good high level top down university. They always ask for this use exam or SAT exam, IELTS. So I think it's clear for you now. Uh, we will get the use result after three to four weeks of taking the exam. So it will be during the interview call. It might be after the interview. We don't know like exact day because normally the interview will be in June. July. So anyhow, you will get your YOS result and then you will uh, just submit it and upload it in the, the Yo uh, Busari system. If you cannot upload it, you can just bring that certificate during the interview, whatever, do for GRE, YOS. So when is the interview call? Interview call will be in June, July. Also, it depends on the country. So I talk about like what could be the approximate interview call i talk about that in my previous video check it out after you got registered for the use exam your status for the payment you have to pay right payment will change into paid in your document uh, you don't need to do anything anymore uh, two weeks before the exam you will get the use exam entrance document i talk about how to do it in my previous video so check it out uh, can we use calculator in the use exam so no calculator so i talk about what not to bring in the exam in that video as well so check it out uh, they will not give you also in the calculator during the exam they will only give you the pencil case uh, i make a study group for this year's exam you can see the link in the description down below if you want to join it just say i want to join and then you, your department your major uh, you write it down in the comment section down below so that i know who is joining or who is not joining so i have to make approval the question of the use exam is to test you your reasoning skill it is 80 questions 40 question iq test 40 questions for general mathematics the timing is 100 minutes they test you how fast you can think during that duration it has a negative gradient every four and incorrect answer they subtract minus one let's talk about the topics and the books it's include maths and iq so in maths they are like basic maths and advanced math so we can say it is called map one maps two and geometry some of the people i know who took it i asked from them i talk about these detailed topics in my previous video called maths 
tests. Math test is for the similar test, but it is also shorter one for Busari uh, scholarship application. During the interview, you have to take this for all the major or department. This math test it is also for bachelor undergraduate student only. Okay, no master, no PhD. After you join my study group, you will see my Google Drive and I have already downloaded all the resources from different websites. So you can just study from here. First step is to study this full book, uh, Math 1, Math 2 and Geometry. Each chapter, it has a summary. Every summary, they have a question, you know, simple sample test for different set of sample tests. So the first part is the Math 1 which include all these uh, topics, like basic topic, you can check here. And this is the math two. Uh, these are the topics, polynomial, trigonometry, logarithm, limits, integral, matrix. And then uh, this is the geometry. Geometry topics are here. I explained about that previously. After that, uh, you study for the, the original U.S. exam from 2010. Okay, first of all, this U.S. exam is a Turkish U.S. exam, 2010. After that, 2010 or 11, not sure, they change it into university U.S. exam. So every university have their own U.S. exam. Since last year, they change it again back to the, the Turkish like global U.S. exam instead of university U.S. exam. Previously, it has a Turkish also but uh, you don't need to study for the Turkish one. Number of questions will be different, but you can just uh, do the practice here. The IQ questions are like this. So the second part is basic maths, polynomial limits, trigonometry function here, integral and geometry here. The third one is you can again practice for the, the test. It's this book. You will practice for that. It also has math 1, math 2, geometry. This does not come with summary. So you have to first know the basic knowledge first and then study for the, this one. That's why I ask you to study the first book first and then use exam and then this practice test. But lastly, it's university practice test. This is from the Istanbul University use exam. So it has three sets. Uh, it also have uh, 80 questions, but uh, 30 questions are general math and 50 are IQ tests. I just practice as a sample test after you finish everything there is a additional book you can study there are so uh, many different practice tests so you can study that one uh, if you have more time i will not go into the topic in more detail so you just need to mem memorize all the you know formula the basic formula first after that just solve the practice question so it will not be too much complicated question that you need to use calculator. Just simple, just need to, you have to know like some shortcut or something. You can study more detail other basic math in this book. I also talk about detail of the topics in my previous video. You can check it out. Past year, use exam, math 1 and math 2 are like 80% or 40 questions. You know, and a geometry is just a few geometry, so you can just walk it out. So for the IQ test, you can study using these books. That's it. So don't forget to join my study group. I have already downloaded everything, so you just need to join and download it from there. And make sure you write in the comment section down below, uh, I want to join and your department. Okay, I wish you all the best in this exam. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.